What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dee and this is The Optimistic Network. Today's video is going to be part two of our Patwa lesson. I don't want to drag it out too much. I want to make it short and fun that you'll just have fun for five minutes learning some Patwa words. At the end of each lesson, I want you to walk away laughing and just feeling good about Patwa and you know, just kind of practicing it, your Patwa if you're interested in doing that. So last week we talked about some introduction questions. So this week we're going to answer the questions in Patwa. So I was thinking about it this morning and I want to mention that in the Jamaican culture, Patwa is not taught in school. Yes, they may talk Patwa, but in most cases, teach address students in English because they want us to learn English. But I just told you that Patwa is not taught in school. You may be wondering, so where Jamaica and learn Patwa? I think we're just learning from growing up around each other, from our environment, because in the home, parents are trying to get their children to talk proper English, standard English, so we may be able to talk when we leave the country or when we go for an interview or when we talk to people that understand proper English, we can communicate with them effectively. Just like our baby was born in any country and adjusted their culture and their language, that's how Patwa is. We weren't taught Patwa in school, so sometimes even my spelling of Patwa may differ from another person's spelling. So don't take the spelling too serious. The spellings that I give you is always so or close to so, but if you see somebody else spell it another way, it's not like English language where you say, oh, that's incorrect. So like I said, let's jump straight into the lesson. So last week we asked some introduction questions and of course I have my notes. My notes doesn't consist of patois, but it have the questions in English just so I can remember them because your girl is getting old. So last week we talked about 10 introduction questions We're like, hi, how are you? Where are you from? So this week, I'm just going to answer them. So the first one, hi. To make a patwa, you'd say hi, howdy, howdy do, so, hi, or howdy, or howdy do. That's just how you will answer it. Or some people say, what's up, wagwan, and things like that. So we won't focus so much on hi. You basically can answer hi anyways. But the second question is, how are you? And how you do in patwa, which is how are you in English, you would answer, me good. Or, you know, some people say I'm fine or great, so, but me good. Or me all right, you know. I have, or everything, Chris, you know. So, me great, me all right, or everything, Chris. You would answer to how are you. Third question was, where are you from? In English, I would answer, I'm from Jamaica. In Patwa, I would say, me come from Jamaica, or a Jamaica, me come from, you know. I don't know why we like to use that, you know, E-N-U-H, but we always say, you know, a Jamaica may come from, you know, or may come from Jamaica, you know, or Jamaica. Some people may just answer Jamaica, but that's not re really a conversation answer. That's just a close-ended answer. So I would say, a Jamaica may come from, you know, in Patwa, if somebody asks where you're from. Fourth question would be, what do you do in English? And I would answer, I am a forensic psychologist. In Patwa, you know, so a forensic psychologist feel me work in a, or you know, my forensic psychologist, you know, or some people say, you know, I work down a white name, or you know, I work down this, or you know, me a nurse, or you know, me a this, or you know, me a that. So, you know, me a, me a forensic psychologist, you know, or me a nurse, you know, or something like that. So, so that's how I would answer that if a person asking, what do you do? and meaning what you do for work, what kind of work you do. So the next question we had in English from last week was, what are you doing here? And in English I would answer, I moved here for school. So in Patwa you say, you know me come here for school, or me come here for school, you know, or you know me come here for school, or me come here for school, you know. So that's just basically it. So the next question in English was, where are you going? And the answer in English would be, I'm going to Jamaica or I'm going to the store. In Patwa it would be, may I go down a shop? Or may I go a shop? Or may I go down the road? So those would be the answers in Patwa. The next question in English from last week was, what made you come here? And in English I would answer, I came here for school or I came here for a better opportunity. Patwa it would be, you know me come here for a better opportunity or me come here for a better opportunity or some people would just say for a better opportunity. So that's what the Patwa would be. When are you going home? In English would be, I'm going home tomorrow, I'm going home next week, I'm going home at midnight. The Patwa would be, may I go home later? Or may I go home next year? Or may I go home January? Or may I go home February? May I go so, home and you tell them the time. May I go home 
me I go home and I tell them the time. And Jamaicans don't necessarily pronounce their age. So, so they may say me I go home instead of me I go home. So me I go home, O-M-E. So the next question in English from last week was what time is it? In English, the time is, and you tell the time. So the time is 12 o'clock, the time is 1 o'clock. In Patwa, a 1 o'clock now, you know, or about 12 o'clock. Or 12 o'clock and I'm just looking at my wrist because that's what we'll do like look at your wrist look at your watch you know about 12 o'clock now or at 12 o'clock now you know or at 1 o'clock now you know or at 1 15 now you know or at close to 2 you know Jamaican love to tell you that very rare people will look at their watch and tell you the exact time in Jamaica they'll just probably look at their watch and say almost 1 15 you know or something like that and the last question in English from last week was how old are you the answer in English would be like I am and you tell your age so I am 38 I am 40 I am 50 in part where it would be me a 38 or me a 40 or me a 50 or they'll just not say me but they'll say 50 40 20 just tell their age just answer to just answer close-endedly so that's it short and spicy we've answered the questions from last week i hope you guys liked the video i hope you enjoyed i hope you give it a thumbs up and another thing if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button turn the notification bells on and get active in the comment and so thanks for watching thanks to all the new subscribers and me love you no bad 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 i don't want to drag it out too much so so last week we talked so last so last week we talked about some introduction questions. So last week so last week we So last week we talked So I